This is Anil with the video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see the scan of function in C. So, uh, in the last couple of tutorials, we have used you know this print of function to print the value to the screen. Similarly, uh, if you want to take the input from the keyboard, then uh, you know this stdio.h header file provides another function which is called scanf. So let's begin with the syntax. First, we have to use this function named the scanf. Then uh, uh, similar to the printf we have to write this format string so then we have to provide the list of address of variables so in the in the printf function actually we are providing you know list of variables but here in this kind of function we are uh, providing this list of address of variables that's because you know this kind of function was made to deal with you know the memory locations uh, in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're gonna receive an integer value from the keyboard so let's say okay we're gonna create a variable to store the value so it's gonna be age and it's, it's of type integer so now we're gonna ask user to enter his age for that purpose we are using this printf function then uh, here I'm writing enter your age uh, a new line then now we are using this scanf function to receive the input it's going to be scanf then since we are receiving an integer value from the user we have to use the format specifier as percentage d suppose if you are uh, receiving a floating point value then you have to use the format specifier percentage f and if you are using uh, sorry receiving a character value then you have to use the format specifier as percentage c so the next thing is we have to specify where we want to store the received value so here in this case uh, we want to store the value received from the keyboard to the variable age so here we need to specify ampersand age that means that uh, whatever the value you have received uh, you have to save it in the address of this age variable so you know this age is a name given to that memory location actually you know that memory location also has some um, memory address so this kind of function deals with the address that's why we are using this ampersand here to you know uh, get the age so now after the compiler executes this statement you know our age variable contains the age entered by the user now we're going to use printf function to print it to the screen it's going to be printf and we're going to say your age is percentage d then um, age that's it I make a note that in scanner function we are using ampersand age and in printf function we are using only age so save it compile and run okay now it's asking me to enter my age I'm gonna enter 23 hit uh, enter button so then it's saying okay your age is 23 using this scanner function we can receive more than one value at a time let's say we want to receive the weight of the person uh, let's make it uh, of type float it's gonna be float weight okay now here uh, in the scan okay enter your age then we're gonna say and weight now in this kind of function we have to specify the format specifier for this float where also that's why we are using the format specifier that is percentage f for the floating point value um, percentage f so then we have to provide the uh, variable address that's going to be ampersand weight so this is it save it and we want to print okay your age is percentage d and uh, add a new line then you're gonna say your weight is percentage f and here we're gonna refer that weight variable so save it compile it and run it so now it's asking us to enter our age and weight so I'm gonna enter my age is 23 then to enter more value then uh, you have to you know uh, separate them by a tab or a space or a new line so in this case um, I'm separating them by a new line and enter then now I'm gonna enter my weight it's gonna be 60.50 so hit enter so as you can see here your age is 23 and your weight is 
so this is it this is about the scan of function nc so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe i see you in the next tutorial